And the program that you have created, and you are improving it all the time, and I hear it everywhere, uh, the Forever Agent program that you put together is a great start and a great education for agents to understand and to take their transactions to another level. Most importantly, to understand the market and how they can help their buyers and sellers to look forward and to create the transactions the, the right way. So let's talk about micro and macro. Well, first of all, let me talk about the Forever Agent movement, okay? okay. The Forever Agent movement is a movement that began with Gina Blafari, our chairman, um, when he talked about how we're a forever brand. And then Christy Budnick, our CEO, wanted to make sure that there was a major emphasis on the role of agents as forever agents. And so what we've done to make this a true movement is to help educate our global network to the, to the difference between a mantra, a marketing plan, a manifesto, and a movement. See, a, a mantra is like a slogan. The industry it has a rich industry of ever-changing slogans, okay? You're the home team, so forth and so right, on, right, expect right. the best, mm -hmm. and they're, they're, they're ubiquitous. But a slogan is not enough. Also, a marketing plan is not enough. A marketing plan is basically a document of what somebody's going to do to implement marketing ideas. That's not enough. The first, so the forever agent is not just a marketing plan. It's not just a manifesto. A manifesto is a basically announcement of a public policy. But a movement is characterized through the dictionaries as a cause that collectivizes a lot of people working together. And that's what's happening within our brand. The forever agent movement encompasses a mantra. It encompasses a marketing plan. It encompasses a manifesto and it becomes, and it has become, a movement. That's why I have this pledge over here, rather. Mm -hmm. I have the Forever Agent pledge. Uh, we have global network members with it attached to the back of their iPhone. We have people taking a pledge to our four foundational values of trust, integrity, stability, and longevity, and to serve the needs of their clients forever. So it's, it's a solemn pledge. There's tremendous substance behind it, and we can speak to some of that substance if you like. Oh, absolutely. I would also like to talk about, speaking of education, and that's what Forever Agent is. It's education and it's the program. Um, the pricing of the property, a lot of agents are saying, we just have to price it right, we have to price it right, and they're not looking outside of their narrow-minded thinking in a way. And you have a great theory on that. Can we talk about that? Let's stop right here. We, we don't want to go there. We want to go to the micro, the macro. Yeah, but See that? We're jumping from a big, big movement Okay. To like pricing. Okay. Let's stay on the sixty thousand level. All right. And say, and because in other words, it's like, it sounds like we're finished with the forever agent. Oh, okay. No, but that's it's part the, of it. No. No, no. It's, it's it's not really a part of it. Okay. That's, so how? In would other you words, like the forever agent. It's it's like I put the questions. What does it mean? What, what does the forever agent mean? What does it mean? What is? How does it make difference? You know, these are the big things. Okay. You'll see how much better this rolls now. Okay. Okay. So, Alan, can you, you, you said you've got to particularize. Give me some of the particulars okay. of the Forever Agent movement. Good. So, Alan, uh, let's talk about Forever Movement in greater detail. What examples can you give us and share with us? Well, the Forever Agent movement, even though it does encompass a mantra, a marketing plan, a manifesto, and now it's become a worldwide movement within the brand, it also has to begin with a mindset, a why, okay? And the why behind the Forever Agent movement has a lot to do with the definition of marketing. A classic definition of marketing is that you first determine the unmet needs of the marketplace, and then you create goods and services to effectively respond to those needs. Well, internally, there's needs within the industry. What are some of the needs? What are some of the challenges from a research and development perspective that I focus on? First of all, one of the challenges is that there still exists in the real estate industry, Lucy, and I know you're familiar with this, what we call the real estate loyalty gap. Mm -hmm. That means that 90% of consumers indicate that they have every intention of returning to their real estate professional, but only about 10% do. One of the reasons for that is something to do with a nuance within the Forever Agent movement. We're inviting our entire global network to purge, to get rid of forever the, the words past clients. Because if somebody is a past client, 
that means the real estate agent is a past agent. Mm -hmm. So we want to eviscerate that terminology, but it just can't be about pithy slogans and words. It has to be about action. So we've got to close the real estate loyalty gap. We've got to help our forever agents create real estate ecosystems. Why? Because people move now between every 11 and 13 years, and there's no way they can sustain viable, value-rich, client-centric relationships because they're sending out calendars or pumpkins or just marketing updates. We've got to find a way for them to memorialize and codify their relationships with their clients. And I can't divulge all of the programs, but we have innumerable programs that help our agents, okay, to uh, basically rid the concept of past clients and convert past clients into forever clients. And one of the ways we're encouraging them to do that, Lucy, one of many, and we can go into some of the others mm -hmm. if you like, Absolutely. is first of all, we want, to help, we want to encourage our global network of forever agents to first and foremost, to convert their database to their client base. You see, you've heard me say this before, but it bears repetition. I could have the largest database here in Connecticut in a month or so. I could buy the voter registration rolls for the Republican and Democratic Party, and I could walk around a town as proud as a peacock. But in a month, I might be a feather duster because a database has very little value. That's why one of the first uh, tenants of the Forever Agent movement is to encourage our agents to basically challenge and dispute unchallenged assumptions that have become calcified cliches. For example, almost every single real estate professional who has a coach has been told this, Lucy, you've got to treat your business like a business, as if that's a revelation, as if that, without that great advice that they're gonna pay money for, they'd be treating it as a volunteer. No. The better advice is don't treat your business like a business. Treat your real estate uh, business as a practice. There's a difference between developing a business and developing a practice. Doctors, lawyers, and financial planners, they create practices. That's why they can sell what they have built. 99.9% .9 of real estate professionals cannot and have not been able to sell their business. They treat it like a business. Somebody can have a hot dog stand, they're gonna treat it like a business. See, a business, Lucy, has customers. A practice has clients. clients. So we put together 10 different ways that practices are evaluated in five major ways to go from building a business to building a professional practice. And this isn't just semantics. Somebody on the surface might say, oh, that sounds good. That's a better way of saying something. No, it has profound consequences. Thoughts lead to words, actions, behavior, character, and your destiny. If you still thinking you're running a business, that's what you're going to run, unfortunately. If you think you're developing a practice, you'll develop a practice and you'll convert customers to clients. You'll get rid of the word past clients. So we help people convert their databases to client bases and elevate their businesses to practices.